Hi, this is Alexis from Akenza. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your first LoRa device to the Akenza platform. So for this, we're going to use this LCS ERS Echo device and connect it to the Akenza platform via our connectivity as a service offering. So here we're displaying the organization overview in Akenza. It's a little bit the company level of your environment. And I simply named it Akenza. Below, we have the workspaces. So the workspaces, they simply organize the different projects that uh, you may have. Uh, for example, in a smart building, uh, you can organize the workspaces as different floors uh, of your deployment. And here we just have one workspace named Office Nerd. So the first thing we need to do is to create a data flow, which defines the data processing chain in Akenza. Let's define first the connectivity technology we're using, in this case, LoRa. Then we could choose a network provider. In this case, um, I'm picking the Things Network and we're using the connectivity as a service of Akenza. Next stop, we need to uh, select our device. So the LCS ERS Echo is part of our device type library. Here I'm using the CO2 version. And finally, we're storing the data on the Akenza database. Now I can simply name my data flow and I can instruct the Kenza that I want to directly create my device after this data flow. I save the data flow and now I need to enter the basic information of that device. So I can start by adding a name to my device and optionally I can add tags and custom fields that will be associated to this device. So for example, if I'm deploying this sensor on, uh, on a smart building, I can decide that the tags correspond to specific floors of the building, let's say floor two. And this tag will now be associated to this device. I can decide to create custom fields. Um, so for example, let's say I want to add a serial number. I choose create new custom fields, give it a name. I give it a field type, in this case number, and I add my custom field. Now I can directly use this new uh, custom field here and uh, proceed by clicking on the next button. So here, as you can see, um, our data flow is already selected. So there's not much to do regarding the lifecycle settings. We have a dedicated video on that. So I invite you to look at it if you're interested. Um, but for now, we're done with the second step. So I can just click on next. And here is the place where we need to enter the connectivity parameters associated to this device. So if we start by the device EUI, it's the identification number of the device, and it's coded as an 8-byte hexadecimal string, um, which is given by the hardware manufacturer. Same thing for the application EUI. The manufacturer will also give you the application key, which is coded as a 16-byte string. Next, we need to choose the device class of the device. Here again, you need to look at the manual of the device. Uh, in this case, we're going to choose class A. And same thing for the LoRa version. Uh, it's usually the last one, but I invite you to look at the manual um, provided by the manufacturer. And that's it. Now we can finalize our device creation. Now our device has been added to the asset inventory. So I can um, quickly search for it. Um, my LC, okay, there you go. As we can see, the tag that we created before is properly applied. And here you have the device overview page of our uh, newly created device uh, with the metadata here on the left, our uh, tag again displayed on the upper right corner, and uh, first measurement that this device uh, sent via LoRa. On the device details page, you also find our custom field, my serial number, that we created previously. And that's how easy it is to connect a LoRa device to a Kenza. See you in the next video. Bye bye.